Have you ever wondered what it takes for a simple banana to travel thousands of miles before landing on your breakfast plate? What if I told you that behind every smooth golden banana is a journey filled with meticulous care, incredible skill, and even surprising transformations like turning leftover banana stems into eco-friendly fabrics? Bananas are more than just a quick snack. They are one of the most consumed fruits on Earth, with billions harvested every year. They grow in some of the world's most challenging tropical climates, yet their journey from a young sapling to a perfectly ripe fruit is a masterpiece of agricultural precision. From planting and pruning to hand harvesting heavy bunches that can weigh over 100 pounds, every step involves a balance of human expertise and modern techniques. In today's video, we'll explore how bananas are not only prepared for markets worldwide, but also transformed into crispy chips, healthy banana flour, and even sustainable textiles. Curious about how such an ordinary fruit can lead to extraordinary products? Let's step into the lush plantations and uncover the fascinating story of bananas from farm to table and beyond. The journey of a banana begins long before you see its iconic yellow peel in a grocery store. Farmers carefully select healthy banana suckers, young shoots that sprout from mature plants to start a new crop. Each sucker is planted approximately two to three meters, six to 10 feet apart, ensuring enough space for sunlight and airflow, which are crucial for the plant's development. To secure strong roots, the suckers are placed about 12 inches deep, 30 centimeter in the soil. This depth prevents the plant from toppling over once it starts producing heavy fruit bunches, which can weigh 65 to 110 pounds, 30 to 50 kilonom. The first few months are critical. Farmers prune diseased or dead leaves to prevent the spread of pests and fungal infections. This pruning also allows the plant to focus its energy on photosynthesis, promoting faster and healthier growth. As the banana plant matures, pruning and thinning of the flower stalks ensure that nutrients are concentrated on fewer, higher quality bananas. One fascinating technique is the use of protective plastic bags to cover banana bunches while they are still young. These blue or clear bags act as shields protecting the fruit from insects dust and harsh weather. They also help maintain a consistent temperature inside, which ensures better color and uniform ripening. Banana plants thrive in tropical regions with high humidity temperatures between 75, 95 to 24, 35 to C and rich, well-drained soil. Drip irrigation systems are often used to provide consistent moisture without waterlogging the roots. In some large plantations, natural compost and organic fertilizers are combined with mineral nutrients to achieve maximum yield while maintaining soil health. It takes 11 to 16 months depending on the variety for a banana plant to produce its first harvestable bunch. Farmers must monitor every stage from the initial shoot to the blooming of the flowers ensuring that every leaf and stalk is cared for with precision. From these early stages, the foundation for a successful harvest is set one that will lead to the perfectly shaped, sweet bananas we all enjoy. Before we move on to the harvesting stage, let me ask you something. Have you ever seen how a banana bunch weighing up to 100 pounds is carefully cut and carried by hand? It's a process that requires both strength and skill, and I'd love to know if you've ever visited a banana farm or witnessed this up close. Share your thoughts in the comments below. What surprises you most about banana farming so far? And if you're enjoying this behind-the-scenes look, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Green AgroWorks so you won't miss any of our upcoming farming stories. Now let's step into the next chapter, the fascinating and precise process of harvesting bananas. Harvesting bananas is one of the most labor-intensive and skillful stages of the entire process. Unlike many fruits that are picked when ripe bananas are typically harvested while still green to ensure they ripen during transportation and reach consumers at the perfect stage. Timing is crucial. 
Farmers look for specific signs that the fruit is ready, such as a change in the peel color from dark to light green, the flower tip dropping off and the fruit becoming fully plump and firm. A banana bunch can weigh anywhere between 65 to 110 pounds, 30 to 50 kilogars, making the harvesting process physically demanding. Skilled workers use sharp machetes or specialized knives to cut down the heavy bunches from the plant. This is usually a two-person job one person cuts while another supports the bunch to prevent it from falling and getting bruised. Even a small bruise can affect the fruit's market quality, especially for exports. To avoid damage during transport within the farm, bananas are placed on cushioned carriers or foam-padded vehicles. On larger plantations or hilly terrains, cable pulley systems are installed to move the bunches from the field to central collection points. These systems can transport up to 90 banana bunches at a time compared to smaller trucks that carry only 35-40 bunches. Once the bunches reach the collection station, workers trim off excess stalks and prepare them for the next stage, washing and sorting. At this point, speed and efficiency matter as bananas must be pre-cooled within 10 to 12 hours after harvest to slow down the ripening process and reduce spoilage. Harvesting is more than just cutting and carrying fruit, it's about preserving quality. Every cut, lift, and movement is done with care to maintain the banana's flawless appearance and sweet taste. Can you imagine carrying a 100-pound banana bunch through a tropical field under the hot sun? The hard work and dedication of these farmers ensure that each banana on your table is nothing short of perfect. Next, let's step inside the processing facilities to see how these freshly harvested bananas are cleaned, sorted, and prepared for markets around the world. Once the freshly harvested banana bunches arrive at the processing facility, their journey to your table truly begins. The first step is careful washing designed to remove any dirt latex sap or residues that may have accumulated during harvest. Workers cut the large bunches into smaller clusters, usually four to eight bananas per cluster, and gently place them into large tanks of clean running water. This soaking process helps remove surface impurities and also minimizes the natural latex which can stain the fruit's peel. After the initial wash, the bananas undergo a second cleaning phase where they are placed in fresh water to ensure that every cluster is spotless. This step is crucial not just for hygiene, but also for maintaining the fruit's appealing bright green color. Once washed, the bananas are transferred to a drainage conveyor where any excess water is removed, leaving the fruit dry and ready for inspection. Quality control is a key stage in the process. Skilled workers visually inspect every cluster to identify bruised overripe or misshapen bananas. Only those that meet strict export standards, smooth skin, consistent size, and no visible damage move forward in the production line. Substandard bananas are often diverted for domestic sales or processed into products like chips or banana flour, ensuring nothing goes to waste. Next, the bananas are passed through automated sorting systems that categorize the clusters by size and weight. Advanced conveyor belts equipped with sensors and cameras ensure that every box meets the specific requirements set by international markets. Workers carefully pack the bananas into corrugated cardboard boxes, each lined with protective padding to prevent bruising during transport. Before packaging, the bananas are placed into pre-cooling chambers where they are kept at a controlled temperature of 55, 57 degrees, 13 to 14 degrees. This slows down the ripening process, extending the fruit's shelf life and allowing it to reach global markets in perfect condition. Finally, each box is labeled with details about its origin batch number and quality grade. From here, the bananas are ready for cold storage and eventual shipment. Next, we'll explore the packaging and distribution process where precision meets efficiency to ensure these bananas remain fresh as they travel worldwide. After the bananas have been clean sorted and pre-cooled, the next step is precision packaging, which ensures they arrive fresh and unblemished no matter how far they travel. At the facility, workers or automated robotic arms carefully place the banana clusters into corrugated cardboard boxes. Each box is lined with soft, breathable padding 
to prevent bruising during handling and transport. The boxes are typically designed to hold 40 pounds of bananas, the standard weight for export shipments in the United States. Before sealing, the boxes are labeled with detailed information, such as the plantation of origin date of packing and batch number. This labeling not only guarantees traceability, but also assures consumers of the fruit's high quality standards. Advanced packaging facilities also use ventilation holes in the boxes to ensure proper airflow during cold storage and transportation, which helps maintain the ideal ripening conditions. Once packed, the boxes are stacked onto wooden or plastic pallets, which can hold hundreds of pounds of bananas. These pallets are then transferred to temperature-controlled cold rooms, where the fruit is stored at around 55 degrees under 13 in Norway's ring centisum. Maintaining this temperature is essential to slow the ripening process and extend the banana's shelf life, ensuring they stay firm and fresh throughout their journey. From the facility, the bananas are loaded into refrigerated shipping containers or trucks. These containers are specially designed to maintain a stable temperature and humidity level, even during long-distance shipping. Many of these bananas travel thousands of miles to reach international markets, such as the United States, Europe, and Asia. At distribution centers, the bananas are inspected one final time before being sent to supermarkets and grocery stores. By the time you pick up a bright yellow bunch, it has undergone a carefully coordinated process that blends traditional farming methods with modern logistics technology. Before we dive into the creative world of banana-based products, let me ask you which banana treat is your favorite? Is it crispy banana chips, creamy banana flour pancakes, or maybe a sweet banana dessert? Share your favorite way to enjoy bananas in the comments below. I'm curious to know if you're loving this journey from farm to table. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Green AgriWorks for more fascinating agricultural stories. Now let's explore how bananas are transformed into delicious and valuable products in modern processing facilities. Bananas are not only enjoyed fresh, but also transformed into a wide range of value-added products that extend their shelf life and create new culinary possibilities. One of the most popular products is crispy banana chips, a healthy snack loved worldwide. The process begins with workers peeling ripe bananas by hand to avoid damaging the fruit's texture. The bananas are then sliced into uniform pieces about 0.2, 0.2 inches, three to five millimeter thick, using slicing machines for consistency. These slices are quickly fried in high quality vegetable oil at around 356 degree and 180 degrees so for two to three minutes. During frying, workers constantly stir the slices to ensure even cooking and crispiness. Once golden and crispy, the chips are drained cooled and transferred to a seasoning mixer where natural flavors such as honey cinnamon or sea salt are added. Finally, the chips move along a packaging line where they are sealed in airtight bags to maintain freshness. Another growing trend is banana flour made by drying green bananas and grinding them into a fine powder. This gluten-free flour is an excellent alternative to wheat commonly used in baking or smoothies. With a modest investment in drying and milling equipment, farmers can create a high-value product while reducing food waste from surplus bananas. Bananas are also used to make purees, jams, and even beverages. These versatile products highlight the fruit's natural sweetness while catering to diverse consumer needs. Next, we'll explore the surprising uses of banana stems and fibers, which are being turned into sustainable materials and fabrics. Beyond their delicious fruit, banana plants offer an unexpected treasure banana stems and fibers. Instead of being discarded, these parts are now recognized as valuable raw materials for sustainable industries. After the bananas are harvested, farmers cut down the stems and carefully peel away the outer layers to reveal the strong inner fibers. These fibers are soaked in water for several hours to soften, then washed, combed, and dried under the sun until they become silky and flexible. The processed fibers are spun into thin threads 
and woven on traditional or mechanized looms to create lightweight, breathable fabrics. These textiles are biodegradable and have a soft, silk-like texture, making them popular for eco-friendly clothing handbags and accessories. The coarser outer fibers are used to produce mats ropes, baskets, and household items, combining durability with environmental benefits. In some regions, banana fibers are even transformed into biodegradable paper and packaging solutions, helping reduce plastic waste. However, only about 10% of banana waste is currently processed into fiber, which means there's still huge potential for growth in this eco-friendly sector. By using every part of the plant, the banana industry is embracing zero-waste practices that benefit both the economy and the planet. At Green AgriWorks, I'm always amazed by the incredible journey that bananas take before they reach our tables. From the careful hands of farmers who plant and nurture each tree to the skilled workers, and advanced technology that clean sort and package every single banana, it's a story of dedication and passion. For me, bananas are not just a delicious, healthy snack. They're a symbol of sustainability and innovation. I'm inspired by how this humble fruit is transformed into so many valuable products from crunchy banana chips to flour and even eco-friendly fibers. The next time you peel a banana, I hope you'll remember the effort, the love, and the hard work behind it. If this journey inspired you, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Green AgriWorks for more amazing farming stories.